This is my very creamy hummus. It's made with cauliflower instead of chickpeas. It's keto friendly. It's really easy to make under five minutes. Okay, we're back on to hummus, but this time we're going to be making a cauliflower hummus. And it's basically like my other hummuses that I've made. Um, my favorite being the non-GMO black soybeans. That's very good, but this is easy. And the recipe for this cauliflower hummus is below in the comments section. So I'm going to put a link for cauli mash. So when you make your cauli mash, just save out a cup. And that's what I have here. I've got my 1990s Ultimate Chopper. And I'm putting my cauliflower mash in there. It's really silky smooth. I've got one clove of garlic and I've made it into a paste. And when I make my hummus, I always add in a little roasted red pepper too. So that's really delicious. So that's going in. I've got my garlic paste. And now we've got some tahini. And tahini, I've got two tablespoons. Tahini is almost like a sesame oil. Um, more is not always better. So I've got two tablespoons there. You need cumin for that authentic taste. And I've got some extra virgin olive oil. And I always put in a, it's a nice little addition, just a tablespoon of mayonnaise and a tablespoon of sour cream. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to. But I like it, it makes it nice and creamy. No hummus is complete without uh, lemon juice. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I use my lemon squeezer and I put it in a little squirt bottle, so one tablespoon. There you go, one tablespoon. I've got a little bit of salt. So salt is going to be to taste, and I have between a quarter and a half teaspoon, so it's whatever you like. And we're just going to whiz this up. There you go, that's nicely mixed. That looks really good, I love the color on that. So I'm gonna suggest that you taste and adjust as you see necessary, but I know that this is. That's very good. That's a really nice hummus. So I'm not going to adjust that anymore because that's the way that I like it. Is we're going to just put it into a serving bowl here. There you go. And that's really super creamy. And what I always do with my hummus is I put a little well in the center like that. And I put a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil in the center. And I always put a little sprinkle of cayenne on the top. You can put a little cumin if you like too. That just adds a little, a little hit. And you can serve this with my extra crispy keto crackers, or you can take a low carb tortilla and cut them into wedges and, and fry them up or do an air fryer tortilla chip. There you go, doesn't that look delicious? That's my cauliflower hummus. Thanks for watching.